This is problem number one from section 1.1. And this problem it says, find the domain and range of the function. It gives you the function f of x equals eight plus x squared. So if they want us to find the domain, the first thing we need to realize is that this function is a polynomial. Because it's a polynomial, I know that any polynomial is gonna have a domain that is infinite, basically all real numbers. So I'm gonna have a domain that is negative infinity to infinity. Because I can plug anything into a polynomial function and get an output. And so that's how I know that really for any polynomial function, because I can plug it in and get an output, any number works. Uh, for the range, the range is asking what are the outputs. So what are the possible outputs? The range is a little bit harder to, to identify. Uh, the domain's pretty easy, I can plug anything into it, but what is the lowest range value or the highest range value for this polynomial? Well, let's start with zero. If I plug in zero, I end up with, so we'll say f of zero equals eight plus zero squared, which is eight. If I do f of one, that's eight plus one squared, which is nine. And let's do f of negative one. So I end up with uh, eight plus negative one squared, which is eight plus negative one squared is one, so I end up with nine as well. So you notice that I've got on either side of this function, and when I've got on either side of this function, I end up with a number that is larger than uh, eight. So at the point of an x value of zero, at that point x value zero, that's when I have the lowest possible value. So my range is gonna run from eight to infinity. And I'm gonna include eight there because eight is part of the range. Now we can do that, we can take a look at this by graphing. So if I wanna look at this basically and, and graph this to show what, what it looks like, um, I draw a coordinate plane and I'll mark this is the coordinate 0, 8. This is the coordinate 1, 9. And this is the coordinate negative 1, 9. And this polynomial, which is actually a parabola, uh, will look like this. So 0, 8, we're just going to go 2, 4, 6, 8 is here. Uh, 1, 9 would be here, and negative 1, 9 would be here. And so you can see that this parabola would look like this here. So you can see our range is going to go from 8 all the way up to infinity. So that's what the y values are. And the domain can be any x value because you can plug anything into a polynomial.